It was battered and scarred, and the auctioneer thought it hardly worth his while to waste much time on the old violin, but held it up with a smile. What am I offered, good folks? He cried. Who'll start the bidding for me? A dollar? A dollar? Two? Only two? Two dollars. Who'll make it three? Three dollars once? Three dollars twice? Going for three? But no. From the back of the room, a gray-haired man came forward and picked up the bow. Then, wiping the dust from the old violin and tuning up the loose strings, he played a melody pure and sweet as a caroling angel sings. The music stopped. The auctioneer, with a voice that was quiet and low, said, "What am I bid for the old violin?" And he held it up with the bow. A thousand dollars, and who'll make it two? Two thousand, and who'll make it three? Three thousand once, three thousand twice, and going, and gone," said he. Some people cheered, but some of them cried. We do not understand what changed its worth. Then someone replied, "The touch of the master's hand." So many a man with life out of tune and battered and scarred with sin is auctioned cheap. To the thoughtless crowd, much like the old violin, a mess of pottage, a glass of wine, a game, and he travels on. He's going once and going twice. He's going and almost gone. But then the master comes, and the foolish crowd. Never can quite understand the worth of a soul and the change that's wrought by the touch of the master's hand.